Hello everybody and welcome to the Rat City Rumble 2020. Justin Banks with Fairway Media here. Alongside me is Melody Bailey. How are you? I'm good. All Thank right. you for having me. Excellent. Thanks for having us. Uh, and so yeah, we're going to talk about the first round. Jumping right into it, we got Sarah Fletcher on the box. This, this is a pretty tough starting hole in my opinion. Yes, it is. Hole six is 420 feet. You got to go over this ravine. And second on the box is Lori Burley. She's out of Shelton, Washington. Um, so yeah, she is going to be throwing a lot of forehand today. She had some knee, uh, she's foot. dealing with some knee stuff. <laughs> yeah, she has a really good forearm though. So that's good that she has that as an option. And here you are, Miss Melody Bailey, uh, 922 rated, I believe, at this uh, yeah, time it's of gonna this. Yeah, it's going to be going up go. next week by quite a bit, hopefully. But Excellent, excellent. Great drive right in the middle. That's very ideal. You got a nice little tree kick. Yeah, this right side is really treacherous, as you can see. There, in certain times of the month, there's a lot of, or sorry, times of the year, there are... It's it's really filled with water in there. I feel like this hole's a little challenge for a right hand backhand because you don't want to hyzer it and hit the early bush. Uh -huh. And if you don't throw it straight enough, you end up hitting that which Taylor did. But that was still a great drive she had. Yes, and that's Taylor Fope out of Squim, Washington. She's about 903 rated. And yeah, she's very good competition. Yeah, Sarah Fletcher is out of Sk I don't know how to say it. <laughs> the central I don't know how to say it either. <laughs> central Washington. Skamokawa. Skamokawa, I believe. That sounds about right. That sounds fine. <laughs> and Lori gets a nice left uh, fairway shot out of the way. Here comes Taylor. Looks like she's getting a good skipper. Yeah, she still found landed in a good yep. position despite hitting that branch mm -hmm. off the drive. And here's a, a recurring theme throughout the uh, day. There's plenty of uh, visual distractions. Lots of pedestrians on the park having a good day. That was a pretty decent upshot. Got you right oh, to the you. edge of the circle. Yeah, this is a weird little ooh, oh. straddle. She almost put it in. Good job, Sarah. Oh, uh oh no, she just got robbed. She just hit the front cage and not enough chains. Yeah, good attempt though. Taylor gets prepared for a similar shot, maybe a foot shorter. Oh no, just a little right and low. So I didn't quite catch the the other angle, um, but you kind of have to reset here. Was was there another uh, distraction in the way? Oh yeah, the the dog and the guy on the cart that went by. Oh okay. I I feel like he was uh he was out to get me that day. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few holes where I'm like, oh, it's this guy again. <laughs> and he was very distracting because of how interesting he was with this whole setup. So I had to reset. A couple of times. <laughs> oh no. And that basket just did not like any of us. <laughs> yeah, it really just took all the wind out of everybody. And I get a little blame game here, it looks like. <laughs> I'll take a blame. It's okay. So as long as we all do it together, that's all that matters, right? I, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> um, so just a bogey to start off. Uh, everybody's on the same page, so it's kind of a, an even kill here. Um, we go into hole seven, which is about just under 300 feet. Multiple locations for this basket. Uh, this one is in the shortest position, just to the right of that top tree. And yeah, still very challenging with the, the drop-offs. Yeah, there's... That was a great drive. It's kind of a peninsula. There's a short, short cutoff on the opposite side. Nice. And we get another a good one. Another, uh, pooch time. This guy was having a good <laughs> little jaunt in the w in the in the <laughs> in the park. See, because it was my turn to drive next, so mm -hmm. then 
there's the dog. <laughs> yep. And what'd you throw here? That is just a KC Pro Rock. Ooh! Straight finish. One of my go-tos for straight shots. Looks like you didn't really like the angle there. Oh no. <laughs> it was a, a little wonky at the release. I kind of slightly let go late on it. Okay. Taylor gets a little air bounce, but she gets Whoa, up and wait. over that Madrona. She might have something <laughs> wrong to deal with. I think she did hit some concrete. Yeah. She might be safe, though. Here comes Lori with her approach, and she nestles up. Oh, looks like she, uh, yeah, she's right there near the edge. I don't think... Oh no, she missed her birdie putt. Barely. Oh no, Sarah as well. But it might be rolling. Yeah. Oh That's no! The oh no! Oh no! It didn't come back over the path. Unfortunately she has to take her OB to lie right there. Yeah, that's what makes this hole so challenging. The distance seems so doable, but if you overshoot the drive or miss a putt, you're going out for sure. Sarah concentrates for her. Oh no! Just just hits the top. That was for four, I believe. Yes. Par for Lori. She's lucky to not get any damage there. This this hole can eat up anybody. left-handed but didn't realize I did that. <laughs> <laughs> Double bogey for Sarah. Unfortunately she has the most damage there. And here oh, there's comes our dog more, again. <laughs> more pedestrians. All right moving on to hole eight is 326 feet just in the middle of these trees. It goes downhill and uphill near the end. Lori uh, pulls it to the right a little bit <laughs> and puts a tomb tombstone in. What did you uh, grab out of the bag here? That is a, I believe, a 170 star pop top wraith. So, yeah, that's so pretty. very stable. That's what I was trying to do, but wow, you really got some good straight <laughs> distance on that, too. Put you right at the base of the hill. Good shot. And Taylor looks like she's lining up the left side of the sky for a turnover. Yeah, Taylor's an amazing hyzer flip thrower. Yes. Oh yeah, hyzer flip it looks like. I was aiming, uh, guessing wrong, I guess. <laughs> oh, a little, little early. Left side of the fairway is not too big of a miss because you get a, a decent approach to the, decent approach to the basket here. Yeah, you'd rather be left than right. There's a lot mm -hmm. cleaner line up to the basket than it is from this angle where Lori's at. But luckily, she's a sidearm no. player and a little easier for her. Yeah, and Sarah got the straight shot out of the way. She'll put it under the basket out of there uh, for her up shot. Oh. And Taylor gets real close as well. So are we going for this or... Oh, we're going for this. Excellent. Not making it, but went for it. <laughs> hey, that's that's great. I put it right there. Unfortunately, Lori did not get her three throw in. She'll have to get her bogey out of the way. Oh, no, that was super low. <laughs> She'll take her blessing of the par out of the basket. That almost uh, went wild on her. Yeah, she uh, likes to putt with the backpack on. For her, it, uh, she said it makes it easier from those distances. To me, it would uh, not. But, you yeah, know, that's why we all play our own games. <laughs> that's so true. Yeah, you rarely see Taylor miss a putt, too. So I should imagine she has some pretty good confidence going into any of those. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So here is hole nine. You throw uphill. It's about 250 feet. 
This is getting into the more elevated parts of the course. Good shot. Nice low. You'll probably just have one or two trees there to work around. And Miss Foth just peers it. Yeah. Left side of the fairway. Here comes Sarah. Oh, she saws it off a little bit. That hillside just ate it up. Comes Lori getting her flex on. Let's see if that can penetrate up the hill. About halfway up that barky area. Ooh, that's Sarah. a great shot through there. Yeah, that's a technical shot. Yeah, just a simple uh, layup there for Lori. Ooh, just a little high. Good run. What kind of putters are we ro rolling with? Uh, this year I had switched to the Nexus AVR. Mm -hmm. I really like the stiff plastic, but with the soft grip. Excellent. This tends to work out really well in any weather condition for me. Fantastic. And this was a cold, cold round. That's right, it was. I don't believe I've ever played a full tournament or even a round of disc golf with that thing around my neck and face. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and this was um, pre-COVID pre stuff, so um, you were set, set in trends early. <laughs> Easy birdie. Good birdie for Taylor to gnaw off uh, what, she what she had uh, <laughs> had problems with earlier. Okay, so we have some scores to talk about. We'll, but we'll talk about hole 10 first. We're throwing Ooh, downhill, 264 effort. feet. Oh. Ooh, and this, this hole can be pretty treacherous, obviously, if it rolls downhill. Oh, there's some concrete on the right near the baseball dugouts. And also very thick trees off to the right. Sticks itself into whatever round thing it can find, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, man. Nice shot. So Still yeah, that got got right down the... Down Let's the go. middle, it hit something. Uh, is it was it on top of the hill still? I don't recall. It was a. We'll find out. It I was guess. a putt. <laughs> it just was, you know, kind of, kind of downhill, it. but it mostly got there. Mm -hmm. That was a lucky kick for Sarah. It landed right in the middle of the fairway. Here's a less traditional line, but uh, forehand is the option for Lori. Let's see what happens. Just a oh, little high. A little high. She got lucky as well of it nestling right in the fairway. Could have gone way down the hill. I've seen it happen so many times. Oh, yes. A little disc change. Strong throw, but it just kind of hung up, uh, hung the top there and stayed on top still. Looks like Sarah's got to go with the Anheuser line. Oh, oh, right gap. Right under the basket. Perfect shot. Very nice. And there's whole 11 people going up the hill. Let's see if Lori can throw this in. Oh, no. She had a theme of hitting things on the top. Uh, every throw there. She'll have about a 50, 60 footer from there for her four. Oh, Taylor got caught up. Third throw, made it out. Bam. 
Dang. Oh, yes. That was a magnificent putt. Great job, Lori. <laughs> a bogey save of, of magnificence. Long throws. Those are fun. Yes. Bogey saves from that distance feel like pars. Right. Absolutely. Here comes a straddle for Taylor. Bang. Similar. Feels like a good, good, good par, but it's uh, it's only one, one stroke on top. Okay. It is just so much better than that potential five. Absolutely. Par save for Sarah. Great shot. And we get your opportunity here for two. Is that not? Or is it three? Yes. Yes. That two. is my opportunity for two. That's right. And I couldn't find my knee pad, so I had to use a mm -hmm. disc or think about it. And right in there. That's a lot steeper downhill than it looked from that angle. <laughs> yeah, your feet were almost on top of the basket. It was kind of ridiculous. Super crazy hills. Another one going up the hill. We were throwing about 282 feet, hole 11. And this is another dog in the way. I actually think it was just the same two dogs all day. I and think it was so. Have you noticed that every time I get up, there's a dog? <laughs> And your shot gets up the hill about three quarters of the way. It's a tough hill. About halfway for Sarah. And this both really puts a rip on this yellow or orange disc. I'm not sure what that is, but looks like I got it up there. The rear backhand for Lori. Oh no, just didn't get enough power on it. Yes. What do you remember about this, this hillside? <laughs> it's a lot steeper than it looks. <laughs> <laughs> you think you get most of the way up there and then you're like, oh nope, still got a ways to go. Textbook up shot. Good job putting it underneath the basket. Oh, just a little right. So it looks like we're getting our pars out of the way. Hey, so where can people find you online? Uh, well, I am Melody of the Chains on Instagram. And, of course, that's Melody with an I-E, as my name is spelled. And just as uh, Melody Bailey on Facebook. Excellent. They're my only two social medias. Cool. Well, thanks again for coming up and, uh, well, doing some remote commentary. You're not at my location here. You're <laughs> where you are. We just <laughs> stepped up our remote game so we can pump these videos out a little bit faster. And, yeah, I'll be uh, coming back in two weeks, so. Excellent. Which event are you are you showing up to? The Ladies of the Lake. Excellent, excellent. They'll be right back here again. Get some, get some revenge. They like to yeah. move the baskets around, so you'll uh, have a, probably a different view on some of these holes. This yeah. The, yeah, this one's about 182, right at the beginning of the fence line for the baseball field. Nice downhill shot. Real textbook. Uh, or sorry, uh, technical shot. Uh, the, the darker trees in the middle is the basket is just to the base of that on the right. Mm -hmm. It looks like that hits the tree and trickles down. She'll have a, a decent angle at it. Yeah, it's always a good way to play this hole. If you just hit the tree, you'll fall near the basket. 
It's a good target to hit. <laughs> and Lori with the broken knee has to jump. <laughs> She gets a good flex out don't of the way. Die, don't die, don't die. That's going to be pretty happy that with that. My stress level. Yeah, it looked really good. Yeah. I was like, yeah, no problem. I'm and is this Sarah? Yeah, Sarah's on the right. She'll be trying to float her putter over. She'll have an uphill putt. And looks like I got your shot barely, but we uh, not much to miss there. You're right under the basket. And Lori has a little straddle battle. Ugh. Yeah, that sidearm really came through there. Yeah. It really probably curled a bunch. Curled and roll. Yeah, it looks like the, the tree hit was pretty good play. Yep, easy too for her. your grip. All right. No mistakes. Yeah, one thing I do these days is really make sure my grip is solid after all those hand surgeries. Mm -hmm. I can't afford to let a weak grip <laughs> make me drop a putt from that distance. All right. Yep, so now we're going to go back up the hill. Hole 13 is going to be about 253 feet in the shorter position. Yeah, the second round they did move this to the longer. Oh wait, this is in long position. I'm misremembering. No wait, this no, this is a shorter. That I'm sorry. That is the shorter. <laughs> the the angle I was at, I'm like, wait, where am I standing? All right. And is this the Wraith again? No, that is a Valkyrie. Valkyrie, okay. Just to hold a little bit of Anheuser as it goes up the hill. And it fought up a little bit. It's right at the peak. Yeah, just was throwing a little low, but other than mm -hmm. that, it was great. <laughs> Looks like Sarah pulls hers over a little bit. She'll have to still have a big uphill battle to go. And Miss Burley with her forehand approach. Looks like we've got an MVP disc. I'm not sure what this is. Ooh, oh, it hurt, hit something early. She just landed right on top of the hill, though. Is your mic okay? I keep hearing it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. And these up shots are still uphill. Not much in the way though, so it's just pretty much speed control and angle control, of course. There's some wind. Ooh, looks like you're uh, left to right. Or right to left. I think the wind was the what was making it so cold. It wasn't like blowing too hard. It was just the iciest wind. And Taylor gets her upshot out of the way. Right under there. Looks like some ba basic pars. Oh, this looks like a little challenge. We'll see if we can get this. Not a problem. Yeah. Good job, Sarah. That's a par for Lori. Looks like we're all getting pars. That's a cool mini. What's that design? Oh, that's just one I made out of uh, some stained glass. Oh, neat. It's like two hearts that are merging together to give you a different effect of how the glass would be if it was actually merging together. Oh. I don't know. It's something I did when I was bored. That's pretty cool. Hole 14, <laughs> we're shooting up the hill. This location is not very traditional. There was some chitter chatter from people uh, later on that did not like where this is at. 
So, but uh, yeah, it's up the hill, and there's kind of a left lane and a right lane, but that right lane is a lot tighter. Looks like you're going. Oh, you got up. I kicked right. I honestly like this position better because it takes away that OB path. That yeah, that OB path is hard to work with. And Sarah just hits that first tree, unfortunately. Looks like Lori's going to the left line. Yeah, Lori. To go up. And oh, a little oh, early. Snow. She'll have uh, options. No. She'll be on the other side of that lane. Then. Not far enough. That's <laughs> face, right? Yes, face to face to face. Sarah's got to fight through the right side, it looks like. Oh. In there a little, little low, but there's lots to get uh, <laughs> hung up on there. <laughs> it looks like a setup shot again to the left side because there's a lot of things in the way. Yeah, it's a very smart shot. And your right sh right side shot looks like it may have skipped down the hill a little bit because there is kind of a downhill part where we yes, can't see. Yes, it did see. go wide a bit longer than it looked like from that angle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> little forehand poke through. Great shot. Oh, yeah, you do have some uphill to work with too. And you yeah. navigated that forest well. Excellent. You lost it for a second. Oh no! Oh no! The one time where you, th where you do I blame the backpack or not? <laughs> uh, all right, that's a couple bogues. For everyone, unfortunately. Yep. Well, that's a hole to get it on. Mm -hmm. Kind of an equalizer. Yeah. Alright, hole 15 is 312 feet. We're kind of in the top part of the property and we're throwing across some fun little va valleys here with a kind of a, a narrow gateway. Oh yes, this is quite the technical drive. Not a challenge. You you punched right through. Work on the hill. Uh, and you still have about 150, maybe. Let's go, Sarah. Oh dang, she hit that early gate. Is this hole really only 312 feet? Place so much longer. So that distance might be that that. One there, there is two other longer positions, I believe. I could be wrong on the distance, but uh, yeah, that's definitely a hard shot, especially uh, your second shot from right here. As Taylor tries to na navigate out of this trouble. And she get a bump out of it. Yes, yeah, she does. Wow. That was a huge standstill shot. That was magnificent. Sarah gets a good air, a little bounce with it in the air. But it's hung up short. And Lori lines up an overhand throw. And it pans real nice. Yeah, it's perfect. Looks like you've got to straddle a little bit. What's this one? I haven't seen this disc yet. That is a Nova. Oh, great. I love that color combo. The watermelon. Yeah, it's one of my favorite things about that disc is you get the super fun color combos and they fly really well. Great shot. Well, other than the tree being in the way. <laughs> I like those Anheuser <laughs> shots. <laughs> it would have gone in if it wasn't for that tree. Mm, oh she got no. all the chains. All the chains, yep. <clears throat> yeah, and this is uh, another uphill shot. 
Taylor had kind of a, a sideways, uh, even with it. Sarah's going uphill. And she got the height for it to save her yeah, bogey. Great putt. So yeah, hole 15 is going to be the final hole of our front nine here. Um, Sarah's going to end at five. You, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Lori at four. Taylor at two, and you're going to stay at one with your par here. Thanks again for watching. Are you going to join me on the second half here? Absolutely. Excellent, excellent. Thanks again for everybody coming uh, to Fairway Media, trying to do uh, as much Pacific Northwest as possible and beyond soon. And, yeah, thanks again for clicking <laughs> subscribe as we get some <laughs> fair play from the ladies here. All right. Uh, yeah. The bogey for Miss uh, Foth. All right. And again, thanks again for watching and stick around for the next 30 minutes. See you in a minute.